Hello again, welcome back to episode 3 of Chit Chat, hosted by yours truly, and I hope things are going well over there, um, I wouldn't know. However, if you do take your time out of your day to listen to these little ramblings of mine, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I know, it's, it's, it, it is what it is. However, I, I want to give you guys a little surprise. Now, I, I just woke up from a nap, um, in, in all honesty. And, well, <laughs> aside from the 15 minute first take of this episode that, that I was trying, Oh my god, that only ended up in corrupted files, and was honestly pretty fucking devastating. <laughs> because I, I thought I thought the narrative was like, on, on point. Um, however, however, I won't let that stop me, mama didn't raise no bitch, therefore I will suck it up and move on and make something better out of it. So, uh, yeah, as I said, I woke up from a nap, and... Unfortunately, uh, as you may guess from the title, or lack, or not guess, um, I, I didn't really dream in, in the nap, but it did give me the, the idea for this video, of course. But that little surprise for, for you guys that, that I mentioned um, is going to come in the form of a little game. Now, I, I guess you didn't expect any interactivity when it came to... Uh, hearing me ramble. However, uh, it's an optional game. Uh, you can play in it if you want to, even if you don't want to. Um, fuck it. I'll, I'll hold you at gunpoint until you make an answer. I'm kidding. Um, it, it's really just up to you. Uh, however, it is a pretty, pretty common game of two truths and one lie. Um, again, hosted by yours truly and related to dreams, out of all things. Now, um, here are the rules. So I will say three dreams, and one of one of the dreams is false. Not only is the dream false, oh my god, yeah. Not only is the dream itself false, but everything else from the backstory to my thoughts on it, they're all lies made to fabricate and blend in. So just remember that. Um, don't trust anything I say. Um, if or like don't be ne never be too sure is, is what I'm is what I'm trying to say here so enough stalling uh, allow me to get into uh, the first dream so yeah we'll, we'll get right into it so this dream uh, I, I know a, a little odd considering well I mean the wording might throw you off a little bit but yes this one was kind of dear to me right, right off the bat I dream I dreamed it maybe a few a few weeks ago um, definitely over a month ago uh, I know I said a few weeks ago but I meant like like uh, between one and two months I I definitely uh, like went with this for some reason and <laughs> it was it was definitely a time where I slept really late I was you know I was in a VC with with my friends as usual and we'd stay up until uh, 3, 3, 4 a.m., maybe 5 at some point, to play shitty games and talk about specific things. Um, I don't really do that that much anymore, but it was definitely rabbit back then. Um, not saying my sleep schedule was great, but it definitely wasn't, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, what it was. Um, so yeah, I went to bed, uh, luckily this was on a weekend, and I immediately woke up with this visualization of a cliff, like a rocky cliff, and past ahead there was this very blazing green dramatic sun. Definitely I can use a million adjectives to, to describe it, but um, it was it was very very just just dramatic. Like that <laughs> that's honestly the best descriptor. And I wasn't alone in this case. Uh, I was with uh, this Th mm. This thing, I will call it a thing because even in my dream state, I, I failed to, to recognize it. Like, it was just, it was definitely human shape, don't get me wrong. Um, but it had like this really distinct mask on, the, and just uh, the rest of the figure was completely black, almost like a, like a plague doctor. Um, but without the whole penguin mask sort of thing, if, if, if that makes sense. Um, 
but nevertheless, um, we both sat on this rocky granite or whatever uh, rock it was, cliff, and we were staring off into the sun like it's a shitty midpoint of, of, of a, you know, of a, of a plot, and we were just, we were just staring, uh, as I said, at the sun, and then back at one another. I was kind of waiting for something, I, I was waiting for him to say him, or I, it doesn't really matter the pronoun, I, I really didn't even know gender at this point, I'm just defaulting, I'll, I'll say them, or yeah, whatever. Um, I was waiting for them to say some sort of wise thing, not to say that I knew I was in a dream, but even then in that whole dramatic little, little scene we had there, um, I immediately thought that, oh, um, maybe they'll tell me something, something important that, that, that I need to know. And so I waited for them, and I, I asked them, um, is, for some reason, did I do anything wrong? Um, in which they said, oh, uh, they were silent for a while, and until they inevitably said, uh, not really, <laughs> which was definitely more casual than, than what I was expecting from such a formal little figure there, and <laughs> it, it almost caught me off guard. And so after staring a bit more at the dramatic green sun, um, the, they kind of just leaned in a little bit, and then offered some popcorn, in which I ended up taking and consuming, and they offered more popcorn, I guess, and, and at this point, my, my mind, um, swayed away from, oh, this is some wise little you know, thing happening, and more just, oh, we're just hanging out, and underneath is probably, like, you know, concrete, like, New York concrete, <laughs> and I, I didn't really want to think much of it, but after leaning in a little more, he, uh, they had, like, oh my god, it, it hurts, to th not hurts, but it's definitely, like, kind of aches to think about it now, but they had almost like a, like a tender, <laughs> they almost had like a tender little, little gaze, almost like they were trying to like, make a really dumb move or something, but the, the dream ended like shortly after anything else could happen, and maybe in an alternate universe I can be like, staring into their eyes, and then we like, lean in and do something that would only be, you know, <laughs> um, approved in like a 2006 romance novel, or, or movie for that matter, or a flick, not, okay, I don't mean flick in that context, I mean like, the movie flick, yeah, but otherwise, that was just, that was what it was, and I, I just woke up just, just like that, I, I, I have to say, the, the moment of like, of like, what the fuck? Is just happened when when I when I woke up was like honestly one of the most priceless feelings in the world because <laughs> I, I I've never been more more confused regarding a dream than at that point e even these next few dreams like I was not nearly as confused or shocked um, than in the f uh, like after the two or three minutes that I ended up recollecting uh, what the fuck just occurred. <laughs> and maybe that was for the better, because it's better than, than a boring-ass dream, so uh, yeah. Okay, that one was a little long, so. Uh, okay, the second dream, um, I'll give a bit of context. I, I dreamt this in, in eighth grade. Uh, we, had, we had a senior trip back then um, for my middle school. And, uh, I mean, hmm, j j just like how it is in senior, in, 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 uh, in senior year, where we'd have that whole shitty $400, um, price to go to some sort of, uh, hotel or a resort of some sort, but obviously this is, uh, obviously this is middle school budget, and therefore we'd have a middle school trip. And a lot of my friends would go there, but I was not really a trip person. Um, so I didn't end up signing that permission slip, and I, I inevitably didn't end up going. Uh, just like ju just like senior year. Because um, fuck that price. <laughs> but I... Look, I... I dreamt that I was 
going to the senior trip because obviously like sure the six flags you know thing was kind of like I didn't really want to go to Six Flags never been the best roller coaster person but I, st I still like you know was sad that I didn't get to get to see any uh, any of my friends of course and so that's why I probably dreamed of it and well, for such a dream about finding my friends, it definitely wasn't what I was expecting. As I said, these are the more weirder dreams, um, unsettling even, and there must be reason I'm bringing this up. So I was I, I, I was waiting uh, in line um, oh, <laughs> uh, at, at the front entrance of the amusement park. And I, I already had my ticket paid, and I was just kind of waiting to be admitted inside, which, that's not really how entrances work for, oh, that's not really how entrances work for, um, <laughs> amusement parks. I mean, obviously, you, you line up later, but, like, not, like, outside the, the amusement park's facade, um, if that makes sense. But, I, I was there, and I was waiting nonetheless, and... I, I I didn't see my friends yet. I was waiting uh, out of the school bus, and I I had a sight which I didn't quite expect. I, instead of any friend that I've known at that time, um, I I saw my uh, my elementary school girlfriend out out of anyone, and y even then that that shook me. Like, also a bit of context. I yes, I did have an elementary school girlfriend. And that lasted, I think, like, like that, like, obviously, we, we were kids, but it, it would go to the point where, oh, well, first of all, we were together for, well, consistently for the entirety, or minus a few months, of elementary school, and we'd do a lot of dumb shit together, and I, I, I guess you can say that was sweet, but in all actuality, I mean, <laughs> like, she basically basically and before oh my god and before uh, any of you creeps end up thinking of of shit that you shouldn't um just know that this is the elementary school version i guess yeah she basically like ch cheated on me like several times and like like she would like kiss other guys and then like rumor would spread around the entire elementary school like we kind of I, I'm pretty sure we, we were just, like, the talk of the drama town, which, I mean, <laughs> I don't really know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it, it, it was what it was. But I, I saw her uh, after a while, and that really did kind of jar me a little bit, um, if I'm using that word correctly. And <laughs> um, it was no ordinary sight. <laughs> I... It wasn't just her just waiting there. It was her without without a torso. It, it was just like it was those like sh it was almost like those shitty like Hatsune Miku at, um, edits. It it was just a head and legs and and that and and she was just standing there like in the middle of of the entrance just just waiting for me. And remember, no arms, no, no arms, um, just head and legs. And and yet, it, for some reason, I, 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 I think that, like, she wants, like, a hug. Uh, which, look, I, I, I really cannot tell you the, the logistics in which I, I recognize that. But, like, I, I knew she, she was, like, waiting. And, oh my, oh my fucking god. And, remember, I, I still am middle school me in this dream. And I'm, I'm just, like, I'm kind of freaking out, but more in a sound, but... I also don't want to be rude, <laughs> which which is kind of really fucked up. Um, but I I I and I inevitably don't end up obviously uh, hugging the, this thing. I'm so sorry. And uh, oh my god, it, it was just it was just weird all around. There, there's nothing really else to that dream. It was more of just me seeing that little amalgamation in front of me and then me just being creeped out and eventually going to my friends um and um going on a roller coaster that i don't quite remember so yeah that was dream number two i i suppose the first dream can be called the uh 
the dramatic dream, and this one can be called something along the lines of the torso dream. So let me get into the final one, which is the third dream. Now, this dream was especially, especially awkward. Um, I dreamt of it way back before. Um, I'm talking like when I'd have to sleep with my parents every day, like that, that sort of, that sort of thing. And <laughs> I, I was definitely really tiny, <laughs> so that's why I remember everything being super big, probably. So that I'll excuse. But I was, I, I was sleeping, or I woke up um, from my mother's bed, and I slowly got off in the best way I could. <laughs> and eventually I made it to the living room, which I was just like, oh, um, I, I wanna, I wanna get myself a little bit of a, of a, of a midnight snack, if, if that makes sense. Just like how a lot of people probably would now, um, like me, for example, in a few hours. But, <laughs> I, I was really, uh, I, I was really pained a little bit. I was walking from the carp in the living room or whatever was the living room, to the kitchen, and I felt myself getting slower and, and slower each time. And I I wasn't too concerned, I was more concerned with the snack that I wanted. Um, but I, it was just, it was just utter chaos. I, I would go slow to the point where there would be cobwebs on the ground, these black little cobwebs that were everywhere. Um, and I not only was slowed in the physical sense, but I was slowed in the age sense, and I found myself imagining myself um, older and older to the point where, almost like in that in that one um, Steven Universe episode, which I I know definitely not the best the best um, reference, but I I just ended up like imagining myself as like an old man, and I I wouldn't die or anything, but like my dream would just and there, uh, plain and simple. Um, so, so yeah, that, that was my, that was my age dream, I suppose. <laughs> and I, that will have to do it for the two truths and one lie. Um, feel free to make your guesses, uh, now, <laughs> because I will say it. I, I didn't, I didn't feel like putting it in, in, in the description, but I'll give you 10 seconds. You don't have to pause the video to have your best guess, and I will reveal it starting now. Um, at, at least until I finish this boss, is, is what I'm trying to say. You can obviously skip ahead, but like, I mean, what's the fun of that? <laughs> okay. Alright, um, I hope you're ready, because time is in fact up. Uh, again, if you did make a guess, good for you, and I will reveal it now. So, um, the, the second one, the one with the torso, is in fact real. That one is, is a truth. Um, I did end up dreaming that, and though it wasn't the most intricate dream, it, it still fit the chart of weird to me, so, I mean, I'll, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> uh, the third dream, on the other hand, I'm kidding. That one's also real. <laughs> the the cobweb one. That one I I pondered on for years, honestly, um, for for quite some time. But at this point, I feel like it's already revealed. Yes, it. The first one was in fact a lie. And if you caught on after, I mean, I mean, really, who has dreams that dramatic? Well, let, let's be honest. I mean, most of my dreams are have motifs of going home, and I don't really want to dive into AP Psych with Sigmund Freud and all that shenanigans, but, I mean, it, it is what it is. Maybe, maybe you guys have little old dramatic dreams that um, you can end up admitting, and if you want to let me know them, um, feel free to let me know in, uh, in the comments below, of course. Um, as any other generic YouTuber would, would say. Anyway, um, I don't really feel like finishing this run as far as I've gotten. I, I didn't really expect to get this far, but that's just what happens when you have that many failed takes. So, 
thank you again for for watching this and i will end in the same way i always have um have a